Okay, in this problem, we're asked to approximate the critical points and classify each one of them. And then we're asked to suppose that the values of f for the level curves are negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. And assuming that, uh, label the curves with the corresponding values of f. So we're given our function uh, with, our, we're given level sets with um, scaled gradient vectors. And so we want to first identify the critical points. Um, we know that the critical points occur in ovals or circles and where the level sets um, cross, where the same level set crosses. So we see that there appears to be a critical point right there where this the middle line, which is, um, I guess, it's supposed to be blue in here. I put it in a purple, so it's like a darker blue than the light blue. There's, it's crossing at the origin. And then there's also an oval right here, which we can approximate um, its center as kind of being right there, which is more or less at the point 1, negative 1. So, So we have 0, 0, and 1, negative 1. And we know that when the level set crosses itself, it is a saddle. Oh, sorry. Crosses itself at the origin, so that origin should be the saddle. And then we can look at the, great, the scaled gradient vectors to determine what kind of a critical point one negative one is, since the gradient vectors always point in the direction in which f increases. We see that we're going out of this point. So that means that no matter where you are at this critical point, any direction will be an increase. So that means that the point one negative one is a minimum. And now we want to suppose that the values of the level curves are negative 2, 1, 0, 1, and 2. And then label the curves correspondingly. So we know, since we know that um, the gradient vectors are going to be pointing in the direction in which f increases, we can use that to our advantage in labeling these. So we want negative 2, we want to point from negative 2 to 2. So as the, the gradient vectors point, it would be most easily seen um, where all the lines are together, but it's true for any of these. So we want our negative value, we want to go from negative to positive. So we have um, So we have f is equal to negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2 as we move from red to green. And we can also verify that this is true um, here. So we're going from negative 1 to 0 to 1 to 2. And similarly, negative 1 to 0 1 to 2, negative 1 to, or negative 2 to negative 1 to 0 to 1 to 2. And again, here. So um, our classification works, and we have identified the critical points. So that's all we had to do.